Hello? I have one question for you. Just one question. Have you subscribed to Yvonne channel? Yes, I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. Just subscribe. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. He's telling me that he needs to subscribe to Yvonne channel. Yvonne channel. We man are subscribed. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed to Yvonne channel. I have subscribed. They have subscribed. What are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button and the notification bell. I know you will do it. Thank you. visited to learning at home. I noticed it was from a family of perfect Christians. I determined to get closer to him by becoming a regular church goer. But Sunlani's mother was not convinced that I was a believer. She saw through my pretense. So well here. I have just finished reading this book. It is entitled, Daughter, You Are Loved. It is such a powerful book. It helped me when I was dealing with Moses' unfaithfulness. I think you need to read it too. I believe it will help you to deal with the hurt that you are also feeling now. Good. Um, so please, go on. Hmm. Mine is a long one. No? I have a son named B. My husband, Bab Salara, is an elder in our church. The problem is that B is not Alara's biological son. Even B knows that Alara is not his biological father. Greetings, brethren. My name is Kumbu Khan. Please permit me to take a little of your time. I am so happy to be here with you today. I came from Zambia. In fact, I am a first time visitor to your beautiful country. I had wanted to visit Nigeria for a very long time. In fact, as early as I can remember. My name Kumbakani means remember. It was given to me by my father, who wanted me to never forget that I am his second daughter. My father's name is Tulana Sinda. Why my sister's name is Tuwela. Tuwela. Oh my God. I can see you are taking a good care of your mom. Oh. <laughs> yes, I need to thank both of them. God is the one taking care of us all. And he will continue to take care of us. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you. So much, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. 
this must change. I must find a way to take back what rightly belongs to me. Rufus is mine. I will do whatsoever it takes to have him back. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, Pastor Mrs. Mercy Ademole. Hey, Tawela. My dear sister, how are you? I'm very fine. How are you, a Pastor, doing? We are doing fine, thanks to God. And your children? They are fine too. So nice to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you. How is Zambia? Zambia is so fine. It's really a beautiful country. And my father's family has been so welcoming to me and the children. We all try to know about each other as much as we can. My father is busy spoiling me and his grandchildren with love and care. He's trying to make up for all the time we lost. Wow, good to hear that. What of Kumbukani, my beautiful friend? Kumbukani is fine. She sends her greetings. I am so happy for you. All thanks to our faithful God who keeps his promise to make all things beautiful in its time. Uh, Mommy will be happy to hear your voice. She's in our room. Please hold on. Let me give the phone to her. No. Mercy, please stop that. What? I'm still not ready to speak to that evil woman who deprived me of all I should have been enjoying with my family. If not for her, my life will have been so much different. Tawela, I'm surprised you're still nursing a grudge against your mother. No, I'm not holding any grudge against her. She should just let me be. Of course you do. Otherwise, you would have been more than happy to speak with her. Whatever she did to you, she's still your mother. You will block your own blessings if you fail to forgive. Please forgive her. Forget the ugly past and embrace your beautiful future. I don't think I will ever be able to forget, let alone forgive her. My blood boils whenever I think of all that she did to me. I personally cannot see any quality of redemption in her. I even wonder how she won you people over so easily. Anyway, one day, our real colors will come out for you all to see. Look, let's drop that woman's matter. On a better note, I have been attending the, the church my father's family goes to. The pastor has been very helpful and is counseling me and the children. By God's grace, we 
shall all recover from our different traumas very soon. I say amen to that. But remember, we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All our righteousness are as filthy rags before our holy God. Life is full of trials and tribulations. And we all have our shares in different shapes and sizes and at different times and seasons. What is more important is how we recover from them and whose voice are ways we're following. Toela, remember, God should always be the only one that matters. Thank you, Mercy. Please, greet Pastor and the children for me. I will. Please do send to your people over there. Bye. Bye. Pastor Mercy. My sister, please. I am sorry for keeping you waiting. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Th uh, that was um, Toela, my new sister-in-law. It seems everything is working out very well for you and your family. Despite all that happened to you these past years. Mm. It is God's mercy. Mm. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Just like the name you bear. <laughs> I think it's high time I changed my name to Mercy. Ah. So that I can also swim in the ocean ah. of God's mercy like you. <laughs> hmm. On a serious note, Mercy, I would never have imagined that despite all that happened to you, you can still be having such a cordial conversation with the very woman who was out to destroy you and your home. Well, my sister, that is God for you. Mm. He made it all possible. He alone is the author and finisher. Mm. I believe his word that says that he makes all things work together for good, mm. for those who love God and who are the called according to his purpose. Mm. He has really made all things beautiful in its time. My sister, I rejoice with you. You have your husband, his mother, who is also your mother-in-law. You also have your husband's sister, your sister-in-law. Indeed, wonders you never end. You see, my sister, there is nothing God cannot do. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. You just have to believe in and trust him. Hmm. Well, it may take time, yeah. but God will always make crooked path straight. I know what you are saying, and I believe God is a miracle working God. But I don't know whether God can help me in the predicament that I find myself in. What is it? Hmm. This one is too hard. Nothing is too hard for God. Mercy. You don't understand. But even if I do not understand, God is omniscient. He's all-knowing. He is waiting for you to leave whatever it is at his feet. He says in Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. My sister, you don't understand. I never expected you to listen to me again after the bad advice that I gave to you when you were facing your own predicament many years ago. Hey, Rhoda, that is now in the past and it is already buried. We're in a new day and a new season. Please feel free to share your concern with me. We will rely not on our own wisdom, but on the wisdom that only the Holy Spirit can give. Ah, Mercy, my dear daughter. I did not know that you have a visitor. Mama, please meet my friend, Pastor Rhoda. She and her husband pastor the emblem of Revival Christian Assembly. We have been friends for many years. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. It's nice meeting you, Ma. Thank you, my daughter. Eh, hey, Mercy. I've been looking for Linda. I sent her to call the maid for me, but she has since disappeared, and I can't find her. Mama, you know Linda is easily distracted. She could be outside playing or in her room unlocking what puzzles on her tab. Uh, what do you need the maid for? I need her to help me with the dress I'm wearing to the occasion. Mama, so early. 
the event is taking place tomorrow and we still have many hours to do all that. Many hours? The sun will still go to bed and the day will end before we know it. Tomorrow will have come. Besides, we are talking about my first grandson graduation here. And I know Precious himself will be happy seeing me is one and only grandma wear dress for the occasion. Hmm. Oh, okay, I'll get the maid for you. <laughs> Brother, please excuse me. Mama, you are such a blessed woman. I congratulate you on your reconciliation with your son. Thank you. Honestly, I never thought I could see my son again. Hmm. But thank God. I'm here with him and his family. Yeah. Yeah. Mama, I've invited her. She will join you very soon. Thank you. <laughs> My daughter, please enjoy your stay. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Uh, Huda, please go on with what you are about to say. I came here to share my problem with you because I know you to be a fine Christian and also the wife of a minister of the gospel yourself. I came here to be counseled. Of course, that's what I'm doing. No, you're making me feel terrible. I'm sorry. If I'm making you feel terrible, Nancy, I'm only be frank with you. You said your husband has a secret wife out of town and a strange woman has a child for him. And all you could do is to pray. A man like that does not deserve an altar of respect. You have to embarrass him. Yes, slam a divorce on him. I can't do that. God hates divorce. Not in this case. Friend, I'm also a Christian. I won't mislead you. That man has no respect for you. A man that could go to that extent can kill you. Mercy, wake up. Divorce him. I know you must have been wondering why I, a pastor's wife, would give you another pastor's wife that type of advice. Well, I did so because I knew how dangerous the other woman your husband was saying could be. This is because I was at one time the other woman in my husband's life. And I knew how desperate and dangerous I was. You mean you? I was a psychic when both of us were home believers and lived together in the same city. It was the day I told him I was pregnant for him that he revealed to me what I never knew about him. What did you just say? I said you have to abort the pregnancy. Abort? Why? What I'm carrying is not, it's not an unwanted pregnancy. To you, it may be wanted. To me, it is unwanted because I don't want any more babies. Any more babies? George, what are you saying? For crying out loud, this is going to be our first baby. Well, I think it's high time I told you the truth. I already have three children and I'm not interested in having any more. George, wake up. <laughs> I think the drink you took at the club is already having an effect on you. I'm not drunk. And then which three children are you talking about? I am married to a beautiful lady who has three precious children for me. Ha! Ha! You are married? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know how to tell you this all along. I didn't know you would be so careless to allow yourself to get pregnant. I'm afraid, Rhoda. You just have to terminate the pregnancy. If you choose to keep it, the ball is in your court. As things stand now, the relationship between us has ended today. Ah. Please, get out of my car. Oh, wait. 
Papa. <laughs> Rhoda, please get out of my car. Ah, please do where? Eh? Ah. <laughs> George. <laughs> George, stop seeing me. He stopped picking my calls or responding to my text messages. He later blocked my phone number. I was devastated. When my mother heard of what happened, she was also shocked because she knew George very well. And all along, she believed I was in a real relationship with a responsible bachelor. My mother insisted that we went to George's house to meet his wife. I managed to get his home address through one of his colleagues at work. On a set day, we successfully located the house. That was the first time I would step inside his matrimonial home. Before then, he used to take me to the staff quarters of the company where he worked. He made me believe that was his place of residence. I never knew he had a beautiful bungalow where he lived with his wife and children. The wife was shocked. I was more shocked when she refused to move out of her matrimonial home in anger. In fact, she insisted that she was prepared to accept me as her husband's second wife and even raised my child along with her own three children. I didn't want any of that as I was not prepared to share a husband with any woman or have my child raised by another woman. So I devised a plan. I understand everything you said. Now, tell me, what exactly do you want me to do? I want you to help me to push that woman out. No problem. All I need are a full name, photograph, and address. I assure you, she will be sent out of this world within the next 24 hours. Ah, no. I don't want her dead. All I want is for you to send her out of her matrimonial home. Make her husband believe she's seen another man or something. Oh, you want me to frame her up? We agreed on a fee, which I paid without any delay. That man was an evil genius. The exact thing he did to make Joe turn his back on his wife still remains a mystery to me till date, because he refused to reveal the secret to me. All I know is that whatever I did worked. I got to know a few details as time went on. Now, this last straw has just broken the camera's bar. I don't need any more evidence to believe you are in relationship with another man. Jane. You are a cheat. No, I'm not. You know what I can and what I cannot do. I do not know that man from anywhere, please. God is my witness. Hey, leave God out of this. Nothing can change my mind. Not even your crocodile tears. Now, listen. It is over between the two of us. Go in there, pack your things, and leave this house. Go and meet your lover boy. He forced the woman out of his house. Not long after that, I found a way to walk myself back into his life. He was very happy when he heard that I had not terminated the pregnancy. That was how I became his wife. Better put, his second wife, because he did not divorce his first wife. I was not comfortable with the woman's three children living with us, so I did everything to plant in my husband doubts about the paternity of the children. I made him suspect the other man may be their real biological father. He fed for my deceit and sent those children to their mother. A few years into our marriage, on the invitation of one of George's colleagues at work, the two of us attended a couple's dinner where the speaker preached the raw truth about the need for every man to be saved. 
And both of us became very sober and got born again that night. Thanks to God for that. We later became pastors. George had everything and started believing that the three children may indeed be his. He became remorseful over how he had abandoned them. So he decided to pick up his responsibility of educating them. They never came to visit. They preferred to stay with their mother. Hmm. I can see that you are shocked at what I just told you. Right. But you know I can't judge you. Matthew 7 1 wants us not to judge lest we too be judged. Now, did he make moves to reconcile with their mother? No. He held on to the belief that his wife actually cheated on him. But you know that is not true. More so, after you have given your life to Christ, you should have confessed and told him the truth. I know that is the right thing to do. But I couldn't just bring myself to do it. After seeing how events unfolded in the lives of different members of your family, I have come to realize just how big the Lord is. You are correct. God can never be deceived, and one would never let people get away with their sins. A person may think he or she is smart and has gotten away with some things, but it's a lie. As God is omniscient, He knows everything. Hmm. I believe time has come for me to put my life in order. I cannot longer live a stolen life that I hijacked from the first wife. I mean, his legal wife. Correct. Hmm. You have to accept that you have never been married and that your children merely stole the place that rightly belongs to the children of the legal wife. Hmm. The problem is that I don't know how to approach God. My husband, my children, especially the woman that I wronged so badly, has a message. I know you are disappointed in me, but please do not terminate your friendship with me. I need you to stand with me as I try to make things right with everyone. You still remain my friend. More so, now that you have seen the need to mend your ways. But this situation is beyond what can be solved by human strength and wisdom. It is only the Holy Spirit that can help. You need to consult him so that he can lead you in the best way to approach everyone. We need to pray to him for direction. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Yeah, you mean you don't want to take anything? My dear, I'm okay. The dinner I ate a little late last night makes me feel bloated. I need to let my tummy rest this morning. Not even a slice of bread? You know the graduation program we are going for may give into the afternoon. I don't want you to go hungry. <laughs> Bad thing. I'm okay. Ah, ah, the way you treat me like a baby. <laughs> you see, you are my baby. And I must not allow my baby to go hungry. Okay, oh, my daddy. Your baby is okay. In any case, please take a bottle of smoothies and a few crackers along. You may need them. You win. Let me get them. <laughs> And please, eat fast. You know, Pastor and his family will turn away. That's true. Sweetheart. We are running late. Papa and his wife must be waiting for us already. I'm set. 
Oh, uh, that's good. Um, what about Precious and his siblings? They are already in the car. Yeah, trust the children. They can't wait to hit the road for the graduation. Ah, okay. What of Mama? Let me invite her. Uh, no, 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 no. She was out earlier. Okay. She just went in to quickly ease herself. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ah, sweetheart. We have every reason to thank God. I can say that again. <laughs> I have dreamed of this day. The day we will be celebrating our first son's graduation as a computer engineer. Mm. Hey, indeed, Precious has made us proud. Yes, <laughs> thank God for this great achievement. All our efforts and challenges have been worth it. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, you... ah, ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kept to wait. Ah, ah, my sweet mama. Hey, hey, you are looking so good. Thank you. Ah, ah, hey. Thank you. I'm pastor for making me look good. <laughs> Man, uh, please, enough of this encomium. <laughs> Let's go, please. Let's go. <laughs> ah. I still find it hard to believe that Rufus can turn out this way. He doesn't look an hint like someone who lost his job and spent years in prison. Linda! Huh. Yeah, so it's going to be his turn too. He's so he got to graduate. Yeah, no, 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 no. And Linda I, too. Yeah. The smiles on the face of Linda alone shows, speaks volumes. Look, look at this one. Laughing like a spoiled toddler. We just got a new toy. Look at how the children are also laughing and talking with her. Meanwhile, they hardly play with me. Their biological grandmother. This woman is living my life. She has my husband, my house, my car, my son, hey, and my grandchildren. No, I won't allow this to continue. Ah, must change hands. I need to move fast. <laughs> so, ah, she's inside the car. In the car? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mama, you need. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Ma. Adi, Adi Mbala, congratulations. Thank you. Oh God! Let's just don't go for it. Please, let's go. Let's go. We are almost behind. Oh, okay. Children. Oh, you're big enough to go with Grandpa. Okay. Yes. Jealousy. The guys are jealous. Jealousy. Oh, please get the gate. Please come. I, I think uh, let's start with him alone. Uh, first. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, can you just take one more uh, portrait and then just pose? Oh, 
and very good, very good, very good, very good. Uh, so uh, let yes, let's take with him. Let's take with him. <laughs> Precious. Ah, ah, okay. So uh, let's have Grandpa. Yes. Please come. Please come. Please come. It be your turn, okay? Uh, let 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 them take. Let's, please. I hate this woman, but I have no choice. I have to love her or pretend to love her. Don't forget close to her. That is the only way to have an inroad into her life to destroy her and take back what rightly belongs to me. Very good. Uh, so, uh, 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 please wait, Grandma. Ah, Mama, please come. You are the uh, graduate number one cheerleader. Please come. <laughs> this photograph will not be complete without you. <laughs> Thank you. This photograph will not be complete without you. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Aha! To all of us. <laughs> all of us, yeah. Grandma, you, you come to this side. Uh, you stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Let our baby girl stand in between you. Oh, very good. Now let's say cheese. Uh -huh. Everybody say cheese. cheese. Take it. Take one more shot, please. One more. Uh -huh. <laughs> very good. Very good. So please, let's get into the class. We are eating now. We'll get to the restaurant as early as possible. Well done, dear. Oh, thanks, my dear. Lunch is ready. Almost. How far? Well, I'm on the eighth chapter. Hmm, good. Meaning you have two more to go? Actually, three. Hmm. God just inspired me to add one more chapter. Hmm. Honestly, I didn't know the book would be this voluminous. Hmm. That is God for you. When he said to speak to a man, inspiration flows like a river flows downhill. You are right. Yes, you, you said you have an important matter to discuss with me. Let's talk now. Hmm. Maybe later. Later? Again? This is the third time you will be saying later. Are you sure the matter can wait? I don't want to disturb the book we are writing. Oh, no. Listening to you, my dear wife, takes priority. Besides, I was just planning to take a break to rest a little when you came in. Please sit. Let's talk. No, 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 no. Dear, please go on with your work. Hello, Pastor Mercy. How are you today? Honestly, I don't understand myself. I concluded the seven days of prayer and fasting yesterday. And I've since been trying to face my husband to open the can of worms 
But I couldn't. I've tried three times now. But I couldn't summon the courage to do so. I know God has forgiven me. And he has taken me back into the fold. For he's merciful and has promised not to abandon or destroy me. But I'm just afraid. I don't know what will happen. I don't know how my husband and children will take the terrible news. Well, regardless of what may happen, it will not be as bad as what you stand to lose if you keep quiet and let the enemy win. Walking in the light is always better than walking in darkness. I know, but each time I try to open my mouth to confess, it is as if a big lump of stone is blocking my truth. Hmm. I understand, but you just have to do it. Hmm. Pastor Blessing, please, can I ask a favor of you? Okay, please go on. Can you and your husband help me to talk to my husband and my children, as well as the first wife and her children? Hello? Hello, Pastor Rhoda. We are not talking. I was thinking about your request. Please let me discuss with my husband and I will get back to you soon. Thank you, Pastor Mercy. I hope I had part of your discussion on phone. What is the kind of wounds you are afraid of opening? What is that confession you can't make to me? I am your husband. You can tell me anything. I won't kill you. Go on. Tell me what the matter is. Hmm. Well, I agree with you, sweetheart. It is indeed a very messy situation. Okay, I will call to explain everything to her. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear this. Thank you very much. No, Mama is still around. Well, I told her the same thing, but she insisted. I hope she will agree now that it is coming from you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Mommy precious. Mommy precious. Hold on. <laughs> Mama, I can see you're set. <laughs> yes, very set. <laughs> um, my husband sent me to you. He said I should tell you the same thing I told you earlier today. What? He said he's not comfortable with you going around town in a taxi. He said I should tell Raymond to use one of the cars to take you to wherever you are going. Ah. I just want to go and visit a Rufus wife. And I will be back very soon. The two of you should not worry. Mama, let us worry. Huh? We care for your comfort and safety. Okay, oh. If you insist. <laughs> we humbly insist, Ma. Let me invite the driver. I want my shot. You have really made my day. <laughs> you have spent well over an hour here. Yes, it looks like just a few minutes. Thank you very much for the visit, Ma. Huh. My sister. It's a pleasure. Mm. 
And thanks for the live lessons you shared with me. Ah. Thanks God for everything. Hmm. Please, greet Parufos when he returns. Oh, I will do just that. Please greet Pastor and Mommy Precious for me. It's all right. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Hmm. We are not we are not heading home yet. Um, I need to see Iyabo, an old friend in uh, Bagura. You know the place? Very well, ma. I grew up there. Bagura, is a lefili, and whole cinema all around the same area. The place is known for notorious boys and girls. Mm. You are right. I used to be one myself. I dropped out of school in primary three. It was pastor and mommy that God used to deliver me from sin and the life of rewardness. They came to preach in our neighborhood about four years, uh, no, five years ago. That was how I surrendered back to Jesus. They took me away from the slum, cleaned me up, sent me to the convert class, and later employed me as their driver. They treat me more like a son than a driver. I love them, and I pray that God will continue to bless them for me. Oh, amen. That's exactly what I want to do in Bagura. And to go and preach to Yabo. She's an old friend, but yet to know Christ. Wow, that's kind of you, man. God bless you. Amen. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry. Rhoda, what are you sorry for? You came into my life. You manipulated me against my legally married wife, the mother of my children. You made me send her away only for you to move in. You successfully altered the course of my destiny and destroyed my testimony. Rhoda, now, all I get from you is one useless, I, I am sorry. Just imagine, after causing this terrible agony, you now said it's the Holy Spirit who instructed you to confess. Well, I don't blame you. I blame myself for being so gullible to allow a wicked woman like you manipulate me so terribly. Rhoda, you are a devil. A real devil. Please. I'm sorry, dear. Dear, I'm sorry. Terrible woman. Sorry. Sorry. Terrible woman. Sorry. Sorry. Please, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> We left that on our way inside. We heard him, but he didn't respond. He looked so strange. Yes, he looked angry. Ah. Mommy, what is it? What happened? Mom, please, say something. What happened? Why are you crying? No, mom. 
I cannot <laughs> believe this. My dear children, that's the truth. What? <laughs> Mom, you are a child of God. I mean, you are born again. You are a pastor. How could you have done this terrible thing? It's a long story. Everything happened before your daddy and I met the Lord. We were both unbelievers. No, Mom, no. Hello, Pastor Messi. Hello. What? You are crying? What's the matter? Pastor Roda, what's the problem? Well, I called to tell you that my husband has agreed to find a way to talk to your husband ahead of you confessing your misdeed to him. I've already confessed everything to him. Really? Okay, how did it go? Terrible. He took it really badly. He walked out of the house in anger and has since not returned. I don't know what he's up to. Uh, what of your children? I told them everything. Both of them are also disappointed in me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. The thought said you won't see me. Yes. Who you be? Ah uh ah. -uh. Dugo, you mean you can't recognize this face? Wait. Who, who be this? Ah. Uh -uh. uh, not be having bother be this. I'm the one. Eh? Bim bim baby! Ha! Bim bola! Long time no see. Forget? <laughs> you don't change. Oh. No, who do? Sue is talking. Ah? Uh -uh. It's like you have not been looking at yourself in the mirror. You now look older than my grandfather. Mm -mm. You know, serious. Huh. <laughs> the good thing we see. Your fine face and your voice never change. Thank you. I'm sure your rough and wicked life have also not changed. You can say that again. <laughs> I am still the same Togo, aka one day, one trouble. <laughs> Abe, <laughs> waiting, carry you come. Hmm. I put a job for you. Hmm. And it's serious. Somebody stole something precious from me. And I want it back. Hmm. Mama did not go with her phone. Hello, ma. Hello, Raymond. Yes, ma. Where is mama? Sorry, ma. She's not here. She left her handbag inside the car. She forgot her phone in it. Where is she? She went to greet her friend. Oh, she's still there? No, ma. It's another friend at Bagura. Bagura? Which friend? I don't know, ma. When she returns, tell her I called just to check on her. Please tell her to call me back. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. She 
is the owner of Aglo International School. Aglo? Mm. That big school. Oh, you know the school? Yes, now. The school is very popular. It is not far from Great Supermall along uh, King Abad's way. Correct. The only problem is that it is located in ever busy business districts. It doesn't make sense to strike her in that area. Where does she live? Hmm. Number 16, Abiscus Avenue, in the GRA. And uh, when does she go to her school? Hmm. Every day. Except on Saturdays and Sundays. Good. Very good. We will trail her from her house and ambush her on her way to the school. Only to deposit one or two bullets in her skull. Hmm. And that's all. Ah. Okay, don't go. Happy brother. Hmm? You can go right away. Those compose fine tributes that you will deliver uh, for our funeral. Ah. Thank you, Dogo. That's all right. What are good friends for? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. But an idea did come to my mind. And? Since you said you don't have money to pay us, I feel like we should use one bed to keep two stones. Mm -mm. One bed to keep two stones? <laughs> I, I, I mean, two stones to kill one bed. <sighs> Dogo, why are you confusing confusion? Use one stone to kill two birds. Mm, no, whatever. The important thing be that the bird must be killed. Hmm. This is what we're going to do. We will kidnap her and demand the ransom from her family. And after we collect the ransom, we will still go ahead and kill her. Uh, the ransom will take care of her pay. And uh, killing her will take care of your request. Is mm. that okay? Uh, it's alright. However, if she proves too difficult during the kidnapping, we will kill her dear and dead right away. Okay. Have you forgotten my other nickname? Do go snake on the rock. When our papas, I know they leave trace. Mm. Uh, I trust you. When exactly are you doing the job? Mm. The boys who are to join me in the assignment mm -hmm. have other operations at the moment, about three or four thereabouts. Mm. It will take them till Sunday. Mm. So yours will be done Monday or Tuesday. Since you said that uh, it is a staff who opens the school every day, uh, that means she has no regular time of going to school, isn't it? Exactly. Now, if you say you help us to monitor our movement in these two days and report to us. Moreover, don't forget to send a photo to my phone for me to confirm the face. Is that okay? Mm. I will do that immediately when I get into the car. No, Pastor Roda, you have no reason to regret confessing your sins. But everyone has turned against me. My husband, my children, you, you won't believe it. I called my husband's first wife to go and see her and her children. My intention was to go and confess to her and beg her for forgiveness too. She told me she was not interested in seeing me. She said my husband had already called her and told her everything I did. Now, everyone has turned against me. Everybody except God Almighty. God is always pleased with every remorseful sinner who begs for forgiveness. So pull yourself together, go back to the place of prayer and, and pour out your heart to him. He will beam his light on your path and show you what to do. 
Thank you, Pastor Mercy. I'm sorry, Pastor Mercy. He's back. Who? Huh? My husband. He just walked into the compound now. We'll talk later. Welcome, dear. Mama, hope you enjoyed your meal. Very well. <laughs> Thanks for the cake. Thanks to God. Hmm. Um, God. Sorry, Mama. Can I take a little of your time? Huh. It's so pleasure. You can take as much as you want. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Um, I need your opinion on a matter. What is that? There is this woman who manipulated her way into the life of a man and snatched him from his wife. What can we call that woman? A woman? Who is the woman? A friend. Hmm. Are you sure it's a friend that we're talking about here? Not another person? Sure. Hmm. It is a friend. Hmm. What can you say about what she did? Hmm. Very wrong. Um, the good news is the woman has since surrendered her life to Jesus. She was remorseful and she confessed to her husband, her children and the legal wife. Ah, she tried. Hmm. The sad news is the husband is seriously annoyed. Hmm. The man has the right to be. What the woman did is bad. Better put, what she did is evil. Now, going forward, what can she do? Mm. Does she have children for the man? Mm -hmm. Two. It's a difficult one. Mm. Well, I believe having children or not does not really matter here. The right thing to do is to leave the man for the rightful owner. Otherwise, she'll be using her bare hands to fetch burning coals on her head. Ah, this is serious. I will find a way to talk to her. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. This woman is not using the parable to speak to me. My dear, my dear, my dear, please, my dear, please, please, my dear, please, don't leave me alone, my dear, please, my dear, please, my dear, please, my dear, please, 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 don't leave me alone. Where are you going now? Dear, I'm sorry. Dear, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, dear, please don't go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mama, you're welcome. Thank you, my love. <laughs> so, how did it go? Oh, I had a very wonderful time with my good friend, Mama uh -huh. Eunice, today. I accompanied her to the salon to make her hair. From there, we went to the mall to do some shopping. She's such a pleasant person to be with. Mm. I like her. Oh, yeah, that is good. But please, be very watchful. 
and prayerful when it comes to Abin Bola. I don't know why. I'm just not fully convinced that she's truly born again. And I don't want her to hurt you the way she did to me some years back. Dear, are you sure you are still not nursing some bitterness against the innocent woman? No, 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 no. But I, I'm just being careful. Remember, in Matthew 10, verse number 16, the Bible tells us to be as wise as serpents and as harmless as doves. Hmm. That's true. You see, Sincerely, from time to time, I do have a check in my spirits to be careful with her. But I always wave it off as a baseless suspicion. Actually, it may be baseless. And on the other hand, it may not be. What we just need to do is to continue to watch and pray. Mm. The Lord will help me. Mm. Dear, have you had your lunch? <laughs> Which lunch? The lunch that had already disappeared in my tummy? <laughs> my stomach is already warming up for dinner. Daddy, you are food, eh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Eh? Oh, should I come and join the kitchen? Yes, you're welcome. Ah, okay. Father, ah. show me the way to go. Lord, lead me. Guide me. I need you. Lord, touch the, my husband's heart. Touch his heart. Oh, Father, touch his heart. Touch the heart of Jay. Let her forgive me. I need your mercy. Show me the way. Direct me. Guide me. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Come into my home. Come into my home. Come into my home. Come and have your way in this home. Come and take your place. Come and have your way. Lord, it is time. Come, Lord. Come, Lord. Come, Lord. Show me the way. Guide me. Lead me. Father, I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you, Father. Father, Lord. I am sensing something is not right with the friendship between Mama and your stepmother. Mm. Oh, what did you notice? Well, nothing specific. I am just sensing it. Well, I believe you are correct. I have also been having reasons to doubt on our salvation for a while. Why? But you led her to Christ. By their fruits, you shall know them. So says the Bible. Some of my mother's words and actions leave room for one to doubt her encounter. Do you remember the last time she received a call and told the caller that she was about entering the church auditorium while she was right there with us in the living room? Remember I corrected her when she told me it was just a small white lie? Well, it is only God who knows our true spiritual state. Exactly. And that's why we need to call upon the Lord for a definite encounter to break her down and turn her stony heart out of flesh. Thereafter, we'll preach the gospel to her again. That's a good one. Okay. Let's pray for her now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us just commit your heart into God's hand. Lord Jesus, Lord, we commit Mama's heart into your hands. We ask, O oh Lord, for true encounter. Ah. Hello, Ma. Ah. Hello, Falake, my sister. How is Daddy? Daddy is fine. I hope Pastor and the family are also fine. Oh, we well, thank God. I need to see you this morning. Mm, I need your advice concerning an urgent matter. When can I meet you at home? Ah, I'm sorry. You can't meet me at home this morning. I have to be in school a little earlier today. I have an appointment with a team from the Ministry of Education. Oh, in that case... Can I come and meet you in the school? Oh, no problem with that. 
When exactly are you leaving home? Within the next one hour. Mm -hmm. That means around 9 a.m. Yes. In that case, I should be in your school before noon. Thank you. You're welcome, Ma. Bye, Ma. Who was that? Mama Eunice. Eh? What does he want? She said she needs to see me for an advice. Mama, you receive Christ. The Bible says if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Hello, Dogo. I just spoke with that woman. She'll be heading for her school anytime between now and 9 a.m. That's okay. My boys are falling already. They will hit the road right away. Thank you. But please, do not forget. I don't want anything traced to me, oh. Madam, relax. We have caught the line and expect good news from us, man. Ah, amen. Thank you. Dear? Oh, you are set? Yes, I'm set. But I don't know how I'm feeling. How? Sick? No. I'm just feeling uncomfortable. Hey, but what? I don't know. Will it be about your upcoming meeting with officials from the Minister of Education? No. This is not going to be their first visit. Besides, our school is in a very good standing with the Ministry. I guess it is your upcoming meeting with Abimbola. Honestly, I don't know. I know. I know. Because the Holy Spirit has been telling me that we will not be careful with Abimbola. Yes. Well, since we can't pinpoint anything definite, let's take a moment to pray for your outing today. Okay. And we must also remember to commit Abimbola to the hands of God. Mm. That the Lord God will right whatever is wrong in our spiritual life. Mm. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, mm. let's commit this, 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 this your way out to the hands of God. between us, 100 meter maximum and 50 minimum. Did you get that? Yes, boss. Do you get that? Yes, boss. No mistake. No error. Yeah, what did I say? No mistake. Oops. No error. Oh. Fire this engine. Fire it.
It's already past nine. I hope these people are doing their job. I need to find out from Dogo. Eunice, Eunice, people are busy interceding for your genuine repentance and total surrender. But you are busy plotting how to destroy a woman who loves you sincerely and supports you in every possible way. For how long will you let the devil continue to use you? How many lives will you destroy before you stop doing evil? Do you want to throw away all that you have been blessed to get back? Behold, it was not easy for Moses, Rufus, and their wives to forgive and embrace you. But they did so because of their acknowledgement that Jesus is all that matters. You have been set free, but now you are ready to go back to your life of being a captive to sin. How many times will I call on you before you answer me? The time has come and is here now for you to let go of your evil ways and come to the saving grace that you can only get from serving the one who is the way, the truth, and the life. It is time to choose between darkness and light, death and life. I urge you, choose life. I urge you, choose life. Mama, what's the matter? Ah. <laughs> Sweetheart! Sweetheart! Mama, <laughs> what is the matter? <laughs> what's going on here? It's Mama, she's been crying. Oh, precious. Pastor. There's trouble. There's trouble. Ah! <laughs> Which trouble? Don't help me to pray. Now those evil people, you know, lay there and scorn that woman. <laughs> Which evil people? Which woman? Ah. It's Falake. Rufus's wife. I will confess. Oh, switched off. Why? What could be wrong with her phone? It was fully charged before she left the house this morning. Ha! Huh. Mama, why? Why did you allow MJ push you to take another woman's life? Uh, ah. No, no, no. Please. I am disappointed. I am really disappointed. Please. Please. Let me call them. Let me call them. Not to carry out your pressure. Ah. What? Is it not ringing? It's ringing. They are not picking the uh, call. What's all this? Eh? What's all this? How are we sure they have not laid their hands on Mama Bayomi already? Uh, uh, sweetheart, I, 
I think we should just call to tell her that she should drive into the nearest police station or a shopping mall or any other busy place. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm going to call her. Switched off. Ah! Oh, Daddy! Hey! Tell me, baby! Tell me, baby! I'm afraid. Let's just pray the worst has not happened to Mama Bayomi. <laughs> Our best bet now is to go to Papa's house and let him know what is going on. Hey! <laughs> Her phone is still saying switched off. Uh, Daniel called the principal of the school. And the man said my wife had not reported to work today. <sighs> she means you have finished me when you manipulated figures in the office and got me imprisoned years ago. <sighs> I thought you had done your worst. When I came back from the prison and I discovered that you had dumped me and vanished to here, I thought you had done your work. <sighs> Eunice, you have finished me. You have finished me. How wrong I have been. I never knew you still have many evils up your sleeves, Eunice. Now you have. You have masterminded the assassination of my dear wife, Falake. Now, you finished me. You missed. You missed. You have finished me. You have finished me. No, 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 no please don't do this. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. Let us call and report this matter to the police. Call oh, the police? Yeah. They come and do what? To come and. and Bring back to life my wife that this evil woman killed. Sir, what is about to do? What? What, sir? Reporting to the police is still the normal thing to do. Please calm down, that puppy. Please calm down. Jesus. Wow. What is happening here? Is every one of you looking at me as if I'm a ghost? Thank you, Jesus. My dear, I hope you're okay. Jesus. My dear, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you're okay. I hope they did not harm you. They did not hurt you. Huh? Hurt me? Who? Who's Anna? People. Mama. We agreed to meet in my school later in the day. I'm surprised to see you here. Surprised? You are not surprised. You will really be surprised and shocked if you know the evil plan this evil woman has for you. Ah. Hello, Pastor Mercy. Is there any update? Have you heard from him? No, I called him several times last night, but he did not pick any of my calls. Maybe he still hurt. I resumed trying again this morning, but the calls are no longer going through. I think he has locked my number. His phone might have a flat battery. I'm just afraid. I hope he has not done something terrible to himself. God forbid that, my sister. Please put your mind at rest. God will settle everything. Amen. I'm so sorry. We are in the middle of a family meeting. I excused myself to quickly receive your call. I will get back to you later. Thank you. You're welcome.
Ó, oh, mamã, mamã, you want to take my life? Hey, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. What did I do to deserve this much evil from you? My dear, let me just thank God for delivering you from the snare of the foul Ah. Oh. Indeed, it was God who delivered me. How he did it remains a mystery because I never knew any evil was lurking in the corner. Now, my dear, what happened to your phone? I've been calling you and it has been saying switched off, switched off, switched off. Hmm, my dear, that is another mystery. It was when I got to the school that I discovered that my phone had stopped working. I did everything I knew to make it work, but it refused to come on. Um, but you should have used the phone of one of your workers to call me. I'm ashamed to say that I don't know your phone number offhand. That's a lesson for all married couples. It is very important we cram our spouse's numbers. In case of emergencies like this. Yeah. You are correct. That mm. is right. That is why I came home so early to pick my spare phone. Because I know you'll be worried if you cannot reach me throughout the day. But I called the principal earlier today. He didn't tell you? The principal? Oh. He left the school before I arrived. He went to the bank. It is those people. Oh. Those I sent to you. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? I've been being baby. Nami Dogo. I called to inform you that the woman's head is strong. We trade a car all the way from her house to Midland Junction, where the traffic light allowed her car to pass, but flashed yellow and then red before our car could pass. We tried to beat the traffic light, but just then, a minivan that was passed by the green light came from the other side and hit our car. It was a minor accident, but it delayed us for about 30 minutes. And by the time the matter was resolved, the woman had escaped. Uh, well, nothing spoiled. Another day, good day. And you have to monitor her again like you did today. And give us necessary information about her movement for us to strike. I assure you, our days on heart are numbered. Hello? Hello? I've been big baby. Hello? Share you the year with you at the talk show. I will call you back later. How did I become a toy in the hands of a strange woman? Why did I allow myself to be so easily deceived? God, where do I go from here? What will happen to me, my legal wife and my children? What will become of my Christian testimony and my ministry? What? So many questions but not a single answer. Holy Spirit, what is happening to me? Hmm, I think Bola, you are so wicked. I will tell you what you don't know about this daughter of Zion today. All that I am today is because the good Lord chose to bless me with Polake. 
the woman. Whose shoes you are not fit to even dream of wearing. Your wickedness, selfishness, and covetousness landed me in prison. <laughs> Thank God I made Christ and got born again in prison. Mm. Hmm. This helped me to regain my self worth. But I had a very hard time when I was released. As I could not get a job in my chosen profession of accountancy, I had to start from the scratch by washing cars for tokens. It was while working at a car wash that I met for Lake. She brought a car to be washed. I later discovered she was one of the prayer warriors in the church I attended. She lived with her parents in a relatively comfortable home. Uh, the parents are middle class civil servants. She was a young graduate who could not get a paid employment. So she decided to start a tuition center. She also had some lessons which earned a small stipend. She bought a small car using the money she got from these businesses. I would have been nothing if she had not accepted me. She stood her ground in spite of her parents' refusal to accept me because of my status as an ex-convict. She also refused to mind all the ridicules from friends and everyone around her, including people in the church. When we got married, she had to move out of her parents' comfortable home to the one room that I occupied. It was a hard life, very hard life. We slept on a mattress on the floor as I had no bed. We used a small kerosene stove to cook. We were in this condition when she took in and started having children. Moses later joined us at that point. With time, the tuition center grew into a full-fledged school where we now offer classes from preschool to secondary. For Lake is a true example of the virtuous woman portrayed in Proverbs 31. She was sent by God to pull me out of the dungeon where you pushed me into. Hmm. Why you only saw me as someone to be used and tossed aside, she saw me as someone to be loved and cherished. Where you look for who to bring down so that you can rise, she looks for people to raise and build up. As quiet as she is, she has helped a good number of people to start and grow various businesses. Hmm. She is always happy to see others succeed. Eunice, you have gone too far this time. You must face the full wrath of the law for putting my wife's life in danger. I'm going to call and report to the police so that you will face the full wrath of the law. Papa, please. I'm having a rethink about reporting my mother to the police. I believe what she really needs is salvation. She needs to totally surrender her life to Jesus and make him master of her life. Yes. Moses, I think Papa is right. I'm ready to go to the police. I'm not worried to be a child of God. 
for so many years, I've lied and cheated, pretending to be born again. Whenever I suited me, for many years, I've been going to church. I'm a good giver. I even pay tithes of the money to what I used to give to me, knowing that they are from the scrap that she pulled. <laughs> it was easy for me to live a decent life because I never believed God existed. But after I spoke to him this morning, I know God exists. And made me to understand the big punishment that lies in living my life in disobedience for the past years. Hmm. I'm ready to go to the police. Let me pay for my evil deeds. Even if you will not go to the police, you must sign an undertaking that you will not harm my wife. Hmm. Our God is a God of second chance. The fact that God spoke to you means you are important to Him. Remember how God arrested Saul, a chief persecutor of the church, and turned him to Paul, an apostle of his kingdom. I believe the Lord has a special assignment for Mama Eunice as well. Let us just do what the Bible tells us to do. And that is to forgive her. And let's leave it up to God to do with her as he wills. He says, vengeance is his. He will always repay. Mama Eunice, it's high time you set aside everything you thought was important and surrender your life to Jesus Christ, the only one who truly really matters. Are you ready? Yes. I am ready. Please go ahead. Mama, can you just go before the Lord and confess your sins to God? Tell Him to forgive you all your sins, that you are ready for Him. Mm -hmm. Hello, Pastor Moses Ademulero. Hello, Pastor George. How are you today? I'm okay. Thanks to God. Um, your wife shared a matter with my wife. Hold it. That home breaker, husband snatcher, daughter of Jezebel, has come to beg you to beg me to forgive her? No, 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 no. I won't. She successfully deceived and manipulated me to believe that my dearly beloved, legally married wife was what she was not. She made me turn my back on the mother of my children and my dear children too. She's now sending a mistress to come and beg me. No, 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 no. It won't work. <laughs> it won't work. I understand everything. No, you don't, Pastor Moses. You don't. I do, because I've been there before. The only difference is that I was the one who deceived my wife. Thanks to God, I am back on my feet. God can bring you back on your feet too. He can fill your valley and straighten your rough path. How? Get me back on my feet when my legal wife and my children have refused to come back to me? Get me back on my feet when my Christian life and ministry are in shambles? How? With God, all things are possible. The fact that the sky is dark does not mean the sun is not shining. When the thick cloud gives way, the sun will shine and beam its ray to displace every stubborn darkness. I am sorry, Pastor Moses. I am not in the mood for any motivational talk. I will handle this matter my own way. I will teach 
Rhoda the lesson of her life. I will make sure she pays dearly for what she did to me. Thanks for the call. Good day.